Hey guys, hope you're all staying healthy out there. I wanna give you guys five apps that you can use on your iPhone to help you in these crazy times and to make sure you're looking after yourself. I've split them into five categories. They're all free except for one, which I'll tell you about. And the five categories are social, fitness, mental health, planning and organization, education. So I hope that these five apps that I'm going to show you today really help you out and help you stay uh, feeling good if you're stuck being isolated. And as the world is so crazy at the moment, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you are feeling down or you're feeling a little bit isolated and you have no one to talk to, then just feel free to talk to me. I'm more than happy to respond to you and chat to you. I just want you guys to feel good. Let's get into it. All right, so the first app we're looking at is one that comes from the social category, and that is called House Party. Now, House Party is a new social media platform, and what it does is it gives you a room and it allows people to join if you're online. So right now, you can see at the bottom of my screen, I'm actually locked, and that means that my room's not open. So people can't join me. Uh, they might be able to see I'm online, but they can see that I'm basically on private and they won't be able to join me. You can do all sorts of different things. You can play games with friends. You can have a large number of people in your call. I can unlock my room. I can turn my camera. You can share your screen. You can record a face mail, which is like when you record a video to send to other people that are not online. It's very straightforward and it's basically just an app that you can use to stay social and keep interacting with your friends while we're all stuck isolated. Oh, and it also gives you some fun little facts on the screen every now and then, which is pretty cool. I want you guys to be mentally strong. So this one here is my recommendation for meditations and mindfulness. So this is Headspace and some of you may have heard of it before. It's pretty popular. Now it is a paid service, but it does come with this basics course, which is free. So you get 10 different sessions, which are all 10 minutes long and you can complete them as many times as you want and really just for the basics if you just want to under get an understanding of mindfulness and, and starting off you don't really need much more than that so I can repeat it again if I want to and it basically just gives you an explanation of uh, what Headspace does and the basics behind it and all that good stuff so oh you can choose to do a five minute or a ten minute one oh you can even make it three minutes so when I started with this and when I did this for the first time it was only ten minutes that was it so I guess they've made a shortened edition if you don't have that much time but I definitely recommend you just stick with either the five or the ten minute one and after your first Session, definitely just do the 10 minutes it's definitely worth it if you want you can actually build up more and more over time and as you as you do it every day you will improve and it actually does make a big difference it's not going to give you wings and make you fly or anything like that it's like some people say it's going to change your whole life but it definitely just changes your perspectives and makes you uh, a little bit mentally stronger so this is collect and this here is to help you plan and organize now I think this app is going to be perfect for <laughs> So you're getting excited about things you're going to do after quarantine and also uh, like just things you want to do in general. So for example, I created a board here for travel, for after isolation and for YouTube inspo. What you do with collect is as the name suggests, you collect things, create boards, almost similar to Pinterest, but it is different. And then you just add whatever you want to them. So for example, I can create one called test board and I can add the description, blah, blah, create. And then here's my board. And what I can do is I can add different bits of items and media to it. So you can add photos, you can take photos, you can add notes. Uh, you can scan documents, you can add files, and you can paste things. So what this is great for is like, have you ever had a folder where you just put everything regarding a certain topic in? That's what this is for, where you can just collate everything related to a certain topic, like all your ideas, photos, just different bits, of, bits and pieces. You can put it all together and add it into one little saved area. So you can look at all your items as well. You can have single items if you don't want to create a whole board. You can actually go pro as well. Now, I don't think there's any real need to. You only get 200 gigabytes of cloud storage if you do, and you can back up uh, all your boards to the Chrome extension. I don't think I would ever have 200 gigs of notes on here, but if you guys are crazy and uh, love collecting things, then sure, I guess you could. Um, you make an account and yeah, you can see here collect on desktop because uh, there is the Chrome extension, but that's it. I think this is a very handy app for, for organizing your life and for planning different things for uh, once you get out of quarantine and self-isolation. So this app here is called Jigspace and this one was actually really fascinating to me. So this is all about education and learning things. Uh, you have to make sure that you keep your mind going while you're uh, stuck at home, isolating. Now, this one here is actually quite innovative in a way, and it's something that I think will help kids uh, get interested in learning and will also help, I mean, it will even help adults learn as well. So what these are, these are called jigs. This is what they call them. And each jig is an augmented reality item that uh, gives a bit of history about whichever one you click. And they're always releasing new ones. Um, they've got more coming, I saw in the latest uh, app release notes. So for example, let's go into how a battery works. So it gives you a little bit of background behind the item that you click on or the topic that you click on. Click go, it says it's preparing. 
then you go, okay, I'm going to place my jig here, right on my keyboard, and here is the battery. So I can see it there. You can add people into, uh, into the group, so it can become a presentation. I can spin the battery around. Really, can really go into it. Or I can zoom out. And then at the bottom there, you get an explanation of what it is. So it's saying, this is a dry cell battery. Ever wonder how they generate electricity? And you can go in there and it will really explain to you the different bits of the item. We can click through. Oop. Zoom out there. Click through. And it gives a really interactive explanation of how things work. So, super cool there. There's heaps of different ones that you can look at um, inside of the planet Earth. That looks really cool. Might just quickly jump in there and have a look. If you like learning and you like augmented reality and different things like that, then this is definitely worth picking up because it's free as well. Like, look at that, the Earth there. That's really cool. I can see inside it and I can learn about it. So I think this one will be very good for kids. I think they would love the interactivity and I think they would actually find out and learn a lot of things from this app just because it's quite captivating to, to look at these things. Staying active when you're stuck at home is so important, especially when you're stuck at home and all you're doing is eating and you're just not exercising at all. So I definitely think it's very important to have a focus on fitness in times like this. Now this app here is called Seven. And what seven does is it provides you with workouts based on your goals. Uh, so for example, I have a get strong goal here, but you can have a lose weight goal or a maintain weight goal or a tone goal, all sorts of goals. You just choose what you want. So in terms of cost, this is the one app where I did say that you did have to spend money. Now that's actually not hundred percent true. You do unlock one workout for free and every seven days that you're consistent, I believe you unlock another workout. However, if you want to get access to the full library of workouts, you're going to have to spend a bit of money and become a member uh, which is like a monthly subscription fee or you can pay yearly but if i enjoy it i definitely will be sticking with it and this is the fitness app i will be using this one has apple watch support which i love if you've seen my other videos this is just the one that looks the cleanest to me and the most relevant to my goals and i think it can really help out anyone so definitely worth checking it out you set up your profile you choose your plan so my next workout is a full body workout you can add friends you can sign up with your apple id and then you can see other people that are signed up here so you can see uh, who's active today now it's interesting because when i was looking at this earlier today the united states bubble over there was a bit smaller but because it's picking up into the united states daytime and we're going into nighttime you guys are actually starting to get a lot more activity there so that's interesting in the library you can go through and you can look at different uh like categories and focuses on different body parts if you want uh, there's a top 10 of the most popular workouts for today so there is flexibility in what you decide to do you can to choose different things you don't have to do just what it's suggested but if you do put your goals in there it will suggest you with a plan and that's just good guidance to get started so if i click start here it will tell me to do jumping jacks and different things if i click here i can actually look at what the workout includes. So I can see jumping jacks, wall sits, push-ups, crunches. And the good thing about this is you don't need many items. And that's one of the things I liked about it as well. You don't need any gear for it, which is incredibly important at the moment. And in times like this, where people don't really have access to all sorts of different gear. So remember, keep fit when you're stuck at home. Don't neglect your health and your fitness. Definitely recommend this app if you're looking to get fit as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found an app that you enjoyed, then please like this video and subscribe. And if you have any other apps that you think will help people out in isolation, then chuck a comment down below. I'm sure people would love to see it. I would personally love to see it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.